In this tutorial I'll show you how you can set up a very simple but cinematic looking scene in Blender. As you can see I have a building in a very foggy environment, captured in the evening with some warm lights that reflect nicely on the water. But of course you don't have to have a building in the scene, you can have basically anything you want there. So let's take a look at how you can achieve something like this. In Blender I first modeled the entire building, added materials and a boat next to it. I want the scene to take place in the evening, so the main light sources will be the lights inside of the building. Right now I only have an HDRI with reduced strength that's illuminating the scene a bit. Let's start by adding a simple area light. Turn up the power and change the color to something warmer. Then position it inside the building. Each floor of the building is split into a couple of rooms. That way I can randomly place these lights into the rooms and also change the power so that they are not all equally bright. Now we have this. Next we can add a fog. Start by creating a cube, scale it up and reposition it so that the building fits inside of it. The fog will be limited by the boundaries of this cube. Don't make it too big as it will go pretty hard on performance. In the object tab you can set a cube to display as wire so that we can see through it. Now how do we create a fog? Create a new material and replace the default node with principled volume. Then connect it to the volume socket in the material output. In cycles we can already see something happening. Remember that the scene is lit by an HDRI. Reduce the density to something like 0.02. To make the fog look less uniform we can use a noise texture. First add a mix shader and the volume scatter node. Next add a noise texture and connect the color output to the density input of the volume scatter node. To make sure the noise texture is mapped correctly onto the cube we can add the mapping nodes by hitting shift T. If you have the node wrangler add-on enabled. Then add a color ramp before the volume scatter. This allows you to easily control the look of the fog. You can also increase the anisotropy values, which slightly change how the light will scatter inside of the volume. Or you can change the factor in the mix shader. So just play around with this until you get something you like. Before we continue I would like to mention a great resource where you can find a lot of useful stuff. Envato Elements. It's a huge library that can help you while you're working on basically any kind of project. Whether you're looking for stock footage, video templates, fonts or music and sound effects. There are also green screen assets like Fog, Fire or Lightning, After Effects and Premiere Pro templates and literally anything you need. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets for a very affordable single price and you can cancel it anytime. And other elements can really save you a ton of time and helps you finish projects faster. So make sure to check it out, there will be a link in the description down below. At this point we can add the water. First create a new plane and scale it up. For the water I found a free shader in Blender Kit. You can simply search for water pond and add it into your scene. Now there is a bunch of nodes you can play around with. To see what's actually happening switch to cycles and see how the light reflects on the water. You can adjust the size of the ripples with the scale value in this noise texture node. We can also animate the water by keyframing this value. Just make sure the animation isn't too fast, so try playing it in real time first. Now we can add a camera. I'll position it quite close to the water surface to get those cool reflections. And it's already looking pretty nice. This is without the lights and with the lights enabled. Furthermore I added two more copies of the building to the back as well as some trees just to make the scene a bit more interesting. Additionally I imported a simple PNG of a mountain into the scene with the images as planes add-on and placed it into the background. Finally I animated the camera and used the camera shakeify add-on to give it a little shake. There are a few presets that you can tweak, just don't go overboard with the shake. Finally I changed the render settings, reduced the light bounces and this is what I ended up with. I hope you found this useful and if you did please like and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.